Hey, how's it going, guys? CV the Ionic. As you probably heard, and uh, it's a news now, it came out. As you probably heard, and uh, it's a news now, it came out. So, any Ionic 5 2024 and onward gonna get a free adapter for Tesla charger. This is probably a big news because uh, we heard this before, it was coming, but we didn't know the time yet. As you remember my last video, I as we know, some of the Tesla charger has the dock has a, a dock unit that uh, it also has the CC1 adapter on it. But uh, I'm wondering if you're gonna get it for free, sure you're you're gonna have it, it's gonna be great for you. But for those who don't have it, is it really worth it to buy it? I guess it depends. If you if you plan to go on a road trip, you probably should get it. And uh, but if you just uh, drive around the city, go do a short road trip. I think that should be fine, but uh, it's not like it's something you have to get it. But uh, like I say, uh, as we all know, that like, Tesla charger are very reliable. So the, yeah, that's the thing. Plus, uh, for anyone other non-Tesla charger that will be charging, they're going to pay a premium price. So on top of that, I guess that's the price to pay. If I want to buy it, I'm, I'm not sure if I need to buy it or not. But if I want to buy it, I will probably wait to go on a road trip to, to get one. And uh, the other thing I should mention is that, uh, as you remember also in my previous video, there was a, some of the Tesla charger unit has uh, had a dock unit on it. And then for some reason, was it, this is only like an uh, Ionify specific. It wasn't able to get the full rate, the, the full charge when you were plugged in. Hopefully, uh, I'm hoping they're gonna fix that issue to a software update or something. So that will be the only time worry about for people that have the charger they won't be able to get the maximum speed because of the software update either from the from the Tesla charger from the Tesla charger side or from the, from the on this side. So I'm hoping they're gonna be able to resolve that issue because if they can, even if you have the adapter to charge to charge as a as a Tesla charger, you'll be limited to a you you will have a limited speed which won't be fun. So that's it for me, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao. Charging started.